Sports, we're learning more about a driver who passed away earlier this week. Kasia Richardson's family describes her as a strong advocate for safety. And they shared her legacy and a message of gratitude with 3 News Now reporter Ron Johnson. On Tuesday afternoon, Eric Brown was headed from one job to another when he came upon the accident. First, I saw the black SUV in the trees. And I saw like two or three people running around shouting and screaming, but it looked like nobody really knew what steps to take or what to do. But Brown did, thanks, he says, to his previous military service and regular CPR training at his job. He says he then got out of the truck and saw Kasia Richardson's silver car heavily damaged. The driver's door open. She was still buckled in at the time, and I was hesitant to move her because I didn't really have anybody to help me. Um, another gentleman stopped who said he was an EMT firefighter. Brown says he unhooked Richardson's seatbelt and the two men got her out of the car. They started chest compressions until paramedics came. Richardson did not survive the crash, but her family is not surprised to hear she had to be unbuckled. I've taken many, many car rides with my sister over the years and before she would even leave the driveway, she would be buckled up and restrained. Her brother told me Richardson worked in the medical field, often with patients who'd had traumatic accidents. They're grateful people, strangers, were there for her the way they say she was for others. They're true godsend. Uh, and I can't thank them enough. Richardson's family emphasized how she took certain safety measures, just like seatbelts, so seriously. And they also said she was looking forward to starting a new job working with trauma patients.